Hi everyone, welcome to Amanda Land. Um, today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different, um, which is eczema and psoriasis. Um, I've had eczema since I was a little kid. As long as I can remember, I used to get uh, rashes. There, you'd get like patches of hives all over your body. And if anybody has eczema, they know exactly how hard, how hard it can be. Um, it's very stressful. There's nothing you can really do that's a quick way to relieve the itch or the pain that you're feeling. It's stressful. Um, emotionally, it takes a toll out on you. And um, up until about four years ago, I also got psoriasis, which is not the typical plaque psoriasis, but I will get little blisters on my hands and feet. So I've had a combination of both attacking me for the past few weeks, and things have been really, really hard. Um, anybody that has it kind of knows that there's no real quick fix to it, even with medications and stuff, but today I wanted to kind of give you guys um, a few tips. Um, I'm not a medical doctor, I don't have all the answers, but um, I just want to give you my opinion on what has kind of worked for me, and as many of us know, you can spend a ton of money on um, products. Um, you get special lotions, body washes, soaks, different things and they can cost you 10 15 20 dollars per product to see what works they tell you to use different soaps things that are gentle some of them still don't work but i wanted to give you today um an idea of what you can get at dollar tree all dollar items that may or may not help give you some relief but um what i've learned is you know you can spend a ton of money on this stuff but there are simple things that you can use that aren't going to break your pocket and um, this is kind of what I've been using. Um, not a foolproof plan, but it does give you some relief. Um, two of the items that are really good are colloidal oatmeal and um, cocoa butter. Um, amongst other things, you know, different things work for different people. But in here, I just wanted to give you uh, five quick tips of what you could buy at the Dollar Tree, all for a dollar that may or may not help but I just wanted to share them with you. So first I got this soothing oatmeal bath treatment. It's 100% natural colloidal oatmeal. Um, these are little packages you put inside of the tub. And um, you may wanna use more than one, you soak in it. Um, cold water is better than hot water, so um, I suggest that you keep your water at like a cooler, warm type of level when you're using this because uh, too much heat will activate it. You can use, um, you know, cold uh, cloth. You can use ice to kind of soothe any um, pain that you may be feeling. So I'll take a bath in the oatmeal and um, I like to use this oatmeal and almond Yardley soap. This is a really good soap. Um, it doesn't irritate my skin. That is important because there are a lot of triggers when you're going through this. Um, some of them are the products that you use, soaps, lotions, laundry detergents, and such. Um, but there's also other factors like what you eat, um, environmental. Um, there's just so many things that can trigger it. Your skin is your largest, largest body organ, so you want to make sure you drink lots of water as well. But I just wanted to share with you guys a few tips. So I used the um, oatmeal bath with the oatmeal soap. And then, um, you know, I find that at nighttime, especially when you're trying to go to sleep, it's so hard um, to fall asleep. I've been restless for days. Um, I've been using um, a petroleum jelly with coconut or cocoa butter. Now, this was also from the dollar store. Um, you want to keep your skin hydrated. And this is also going to give you a protective layer. So cover your body in this. I know we don't want to feel that stickiness when you're laying down, but it's not really that bad. Um, but coat your body with this. You want to keep it hydrated. And then I also found this um, Dermacil. Now this is the Eczema Relief Lotion. And after I use the Vaseline, I will put this on. And if you don't want to use the Vaseline, you can put this on as well. It gives you a nice thick layer of coating on your skin. And um, like I was saying, um, you know, you're going through a lot of different things. You get really irritable. Um, it's hard to focus, concentrate. Um, 
there's nothing that can really help um, that's instant and overnight, but hopefully um, some of these products will work for you guys. Um, and I also wanted to talk about the last thing, which is this Palmer's Cocoa Butter. Now this is actually a chapstick, but um, I find that you can use it on hot spots. And what I mean by hot spots is if you could see my pinky finger, um, this is where everything started up a few weeks ago. Um, you get these hot spots where things get inflamed and it wants to, I guess, come to the surface. And this is where everything started. I started getting blisters on my hands. I started breaking out in patches of eczema, my elbows, my arms, my bra line, um, my belt line. You know, it's just kind of miserable. You get it everywhere. But um, what happens is that you get patches of really dry skin and it'll get to the point where it'll peel and crack and it becomes so painful. And that's another thing that you deal with is the pain. So, um, when I when I've been dealing with this, I, I take this um, chapstick and I use it on here, and this actually prevents it from cracking. Um, it gives you some relief, but it's something that you can use anywhere on your body, and um, it's going to give you some moisture, so you can um, heal the way you should without the itch. Um, hopefully relieve some of the pain as you can see I really got it pretty bad here um, I just you know I, I just wanted to give some tips because I have been going through it the past few weeks and I'm sure that there are many others that have as well so five dollars for all of these products versus spending 10 15 20 dollars a piece at a Walgreens or anywhere else at the Dollar Tree you can go here and get all of these products um, you know let me get let me know um, if you guys are dealing with this, like, do you have any tips or tricks or anything that works for you? Um, I'll probably be coming back with other um, things that I found along the way. I mean, you know, we're a community that has to help each other as far as things like this. And um, I just wanted to share this. I hope it helps somebody. Um, I know everyone can't afford to buy um, all of these things that we may need to um, help hopefully this will give you some type of relief let me know what you guys think in the comments um let me know any advice you may have as well because um like i said i've been going through this my entire life i've had eczema since i was a child where my legs arms stomach back would break out in hives um it's really really hard to go through um and you know hopefully this helps somebody and um Please hit thumbs up, uh, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll give you more advice as time comes. And thank you for watching. And you guys take care. Bye-bye.